Hello friends, this is tutorial number 15 in these Turbo Pascal programming language tutorials. In this uh, tutorial we will gonna con uh, talk about control statements. Ok, uh, let me uh, put some variables. Uh, we need a variable x, uh, y and maximum. And they will be an integer. And we want in this application to input uh, x and y, two numbers. And the maximum will be equal to a larger number. Okay, and how are we gonna do that? First, let's begin. Uh, we will write right line uh, enter x and y okay and we will read the line x and y and now we want to write a condition uh, for example okay we we have a if statement if it is a condition if okay and we will write x is uh, equal or greater uh, than y and we will uh, type then uh, but then then what we we will need we will need to uh, start again with begin and end and what this means okay we have a control statement uh, we are making a condition if this is true and we will complete something we, we will uh, run some statement uh, or can be a simple right line statement or we can input some other variables but it will com uh, it will be uh, completed if condition is true if condition is not true for example in this example if e x uh, uh, is uh, is not great it's uh, uh, it's uh, not greater than or equal than y uh, the, this uh, this condition uh, this statement will not be run okay uh, and let's uh, let's write uh, okay but we need to use a tab okay it needs to be here and we will type uh, maximum uh, if x uh, is greater of or equal than y okay maximum will be equal to x okay and it should be when we have a control statement and we have uh, uh, inside of control statement we always have begin and end uh, we finish with semicolon not with dot but there is uh, there is one more thing if we have uh, if this uh, condition is not true uh, we can run a else statement okay what this means else statement will be implemented if this if this condition is not true then else statement will run okay and uh, what will what we gonna write okay we need again begin because it is uh, it is another statement and it it has a begin and end and when we have a else statement we uh, when we have a if statement and uh, after end if we have a else we don't use a semicolon okay uh, and what we will uh, write okay if this condition is not true uh, maximum will be equal to y okay i'm pretty sure that, that, that you understand it is easy if you maximum will be equal to x only if x is greater or equal than y in case that it's not true uh, a maximum uh, then else statement will run and maximum will be equal to y okay i'm pretty sure that you understand this 
just uh, look this better to to see and uh, begin and end inside of control statement uh, we uh, uh, we can okay of course we can uh, it can be here just a second uh, it can be here but the problem is uh, it is to for code to be more readable okay and uh, uh, here in the else statement we have our we define a maximum and we are finished with else statement and we will use a semicolon and now uh, what we need to do we can continue with application we can simply write line we will write all variables uh, let's type uh, x uh, is x is equal and we will write x okay we will write write line and we will type epsilon equals and we will write epsilon and let's write uh, let's write the text a maximum equals and we need the variable maximum okay semicolon uh, and now uh, we need to uh, write read line and and dot okay uh, and I hope that you understand inside control statement we we also can have begin and end uh, okay uh, now uh, let's compile to see uh, if we have some errors okay e -E. Uh, okay my mistake uh, uh, e, uh, we need to write okay this will be better let's uh, uh, it was a syntax mistake okay and uh, let's run the application now okay enter x and y okay x will be 30 and y will be 20 okay as you can see we have x equals to 30 y uh, is uh, 20 and maximum equals to 30 uh, what happened okay we have a condition x is 30 and uh, y is 20 now 30 is greater and equal to 20 okay then uh, uh, condition is true and we have a condition uh, we, we have a, a defining of maximum if this is true which is and and uh, uh, 30 uh, maximum will be equals to x which is which is 30 and condition is good and the, it's finished when if condition is true uh, else is not important okay it else statement will will not run but uh, let's uh, let's uh, let's run again okay enter x and y okay we have uh, 15 and 15 okay and maximum is equal to 15 as you can see uh, 15 is greater or equal than 15 condition is true and of course maximum will be uh, equals to x which is 15 and this works fine and now let's run again uh, uh, x will be 4 and y will be 9 and what we'll have x equals to 4 and y equals to 9 and maximum is equal is equals to 9 as you can see a 4 is 4 greater or equal than 9 no it's not uh, and uh, we because because if a condition is not true else statement is running and what we have here a maximum will be equal to equals to y and y equals to 9 and maximum e is equals to 9 I'm uh, just uh, this is this is not uh, this is not there is no rocket science here but you you just need to to get used of this uh, begin and end is more important uh, to to write begin and end inside 
uh, inside uh, if or else statement. Of course, uh, in the case we when we have when we have just one statement, uh, one line to 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 write, uh, we can use it uh, without uh, begin and end. But uh, you will have the problem, and it's easier, I know. But uh, you will have a problems. You will forgot to write begin and then we need to write it when we have a couple more statements, a uh, couple more more statements to write. We need to write begin and then inside, inside the the, the control statement body. Okay, uh, but uh, I'm sure you will you will be uh, you will be good with this. Uh, just just it's just a little practice and everything will be okay. And we will we will practice it in the couple of next tutorials. Okay. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, there is a lot, uh, will be a lot more videos of uh, Turbo Pascal. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. You have a uh, you have a link in the description, and I will see you in the next tutorial.